Thanks, fellow physics fanatics. Well, I'm here, and if you're ready to answer some questions about velocity, this is the place. Come on, let's go. This wildcat's too tame for me. <laughs> Excited? Yeah, you want me in there? Oh yeah, front row, it's the best seat in the house. Okay. Have you ever been on it? No. You realize you're going up 205 feet in the air. Say what? 205 feet um, at 72 uh, miles an hour. I don't think I want to go on there. I think she's ready. Ish. So what makes this thing so fun? Well, I'll give you the formula for fun. It's velocity, and that is your speed in a given direction. That's the key ingredient. But when you change velocity, which is acceleration, then you've got the key to fun. Now, if we were just riding in a car or flying in a plane somewhere where velocity is constant, well, it wouldn't be that much fun. But when you change velocity, which is actually acceleration, then you've got big fun. really wild. <laughs> Even with my Velocity Girl superpowers, I felt really strange. When I was going down that hill, my stomach dropped and I felt like I was in free fall. But <laughs> did you see how I fake being scared? <laughs> what I want to know is how do roller coaster designers actually make those things so scary? And how does Velocity come into play? And as, as that lift hill brings that train up to the top, it's, it's potential energy. And just as it goes over the top, it turns into kinetic energy, and that's the gravity pulling it down the hill. And the velocity is a function of how high and how steep that hill is, minus the rolling resistance, which is wind and the movement of the tires, many, many little things that kind of make up velocity. So when you're going very, very fast on a, on, a, on a hill going up or down, you'll feel these forces. And your body was designed to be at 1G. One gravitational force, that's what all this on Earth. What's happening here is we're increasing and decreasing the gravitational pull on you to Earth. And then we're also adding some accelerations in left to right and front to back. Woo wee! I think the designer would have lit the bunkers on this one. Those curves are crazy. So let's review our formula of fun. We know that we have velocity, but when there's a change in velocity, we get acceleration. And there are three basic types of acceleration. First is when you go uphill and you're actually slowing down, which is also known as deceleration. Second, maybe you even realize something that you've never known before, that when you whip around those corners, <laughs> you accelerate too. Velocity. <laughs> it just seems to make everything so much more fun. And third is when you actually go downhill and accelerate and go fast, which is my personal favorite. And that is acceleration for you right there. <laughs> You've got to be really good at physics and math in order to design one of these babies. And uh, based on my calculations, this one gets an A for acceleration. Yeah. 
So now that we understand velocity, this isn't so bad. Can't wait to go. So until next time, never stop exploring your world. <laughs>Give this a try. Roll a marble down an angled board. Time how long it takes and calculate the speed and acceleration. Then change the angle of the board and try again. How does the angle of the board affect acceleration?